well before starting differential addition corrosion we do need to know uh, nost equation so from the nost equation uh, we can see that uh, we have e equals to e naught minus 2.303 rt upon nf log a upon c a means anodic part and c is the cathodic part if e is 0 if e naught is 0 then we have e equals to minus 2.303 rt upon nf log a upon c so this emf this emf is going to be positive only when cathodic concentration is greater than anodic in that case a upon c is less than 1 so log less than 1 is equal to negative so negative into negative is going to be positive so emf is going to be positive only when cathodic part have more concentration than that of the anodic part right so the cell is feasible only when we have cathodic part having more concentration than the anodic part when e naught is zero because in this case we have same metal so e naught difference is going to be zero so so when metal is i mean when metal is half immersed in uh, water and half of the part is above water so from where we can see that the part which is immersed in water is surrounded by less number of oxygen why because inside water the solubility of oxygen is less and the part which is above the water is surrounded by more number of oxygen because it's already in water i mean atmosphere is there so by looking at this formula we can see that the part which is immersed in water which is surrounded by less oxygen and this is what surrounded by more oxygen so this part is going to be cathodic because from here we can see this is going to feasible only when cathodic part is more concentrated than that of the anodic part so in this case this part behaves as anode and this behaves as cathode so that's why the corrosion of only that part will take place which is immersed in water so this kind of corrosion is called differential arisen corrosion and also called concentration cell corrosion and uh, where i mean this is what applicable in all those ships which are inside the sea because some of the parts of the ship which is made up of iron is immersed in water and some of the parts are above the water so those parts which are inside the water behave as anode and the corrosion of only that part takes place.